Hello, inner tubers. Let's go nuts. Sweet candied nuts. It's party time, right? <laughs> My granny always told me that party time was any time people got together. Fuck yeah. Now, New Year's Eve is a perfect time for a bunch of nuts to get together, right? And I have just the thing for you to fix. Just like the cookie dip, you can make this if you're a fucking moron at cooking. I promise. It's fast as fuck. Well, except for the one hour in the slow oven. We're going to make a New Year's Eve treat for nuts. That's what she said. Don't go there. This is truly the simplest recipe ever. And homemade is always best. You can look like a hero with only a little bit of work. I've told you before, and you know you can find the recipe down in the description. Fuckers. How many times have I told you that you lay out all your tools and all your ingredients ahead of time? It just makes cooking so much easier. Look how lovely everything is already laid out, ready to work. Turn on the oven. Low heat. So that can heat up while you mix all this shit together. I'm going to attempt a double batch and I only have one cookie sheet with parchment paper on it. I'm going to try how it does on these silicone liners. Everything is an adventure in my kitchen. Step number one, you combine the sugar with the cinnamon, with the salt in a plastic bag and you shake that shit for within an inch of its life. Sugar. Fuck yeah. Now if I have to teach you how to separate egg whites from egg yolks, you're on the wrong video, dear. Really, you just flip them back and forth in the shell. This is four egg whites, two different, two tablespoons of water, so a total of four, one full teaspoon of vanilla. That shit is nectar of the gods. Now you get to whisk it. Now there's no way in hell that I'm going to get two pounds of pecans in a little ass bowl like this. So it's time to bring out the big guns. Me and my famous big ass bowl. When I wrote the recipe for this for my cookbook, which will be out soon, I said you have to coat them to get them all slimy. It doesn't take very much time to get these all slimy and coated. Here's a little tip, intertubers. When you're gonna put liquid shit into a plastic bag and then you have to zip it shut, roll down the edges. Nice and clean. And it'll stand up on its own. Fuck yeah. Slotted spoon so that shit drips out. Now the trick to getting the sugar and the cinnamon to go evenly all over the pecans is you gotta leave plenty of air in the bag. All right, you fuckers, I'm gonna shake some sense into you. Oh, look. I'm gonna fold this over again. Take my own advice. It's important that you spread these out so that everything dries uniformly. I got a little secret for you. Make sure that these fuckers don't sit on top of one another because they're going to bake, not reproduce. Man, this is like separating teenagers on prom night. What the fuck? No, 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 no sneaking out in the corner of the gym. That's not allowed. Okay, so it takes a little bit of time, but it's totally worth it. Like a lot of good things in life. I think I'll send a message to my pancreas now to just shut the fuck up. I know some people like to put cayenne pepper in these. Fuck no. Sweet and hot? That's like the title of a bad porn flick for fuck's sake. No bait and switch. It's either sweet or it's hot, not both. Pop that shit in the oven. So now you can go take a nap and get ready for the party. So I had a nice little nap while these did their nice, hot, slow, sweet thing. And look, I've separated them. I have about four more trays just like this. But I wanna show you how you can really be a hero to your host. A jar, you can buy a whole fucking box of these things for, I don't know, nine bucks or something? Or one of these disposable containers. You gather them all up. It's really something small. It doesn't have to be big to be thoughtful. Doesn't that look lovely? I'll put some more in here from the next batch. And if you can afford to be a little more generous, a little bit, 
or a little more. It's the thought fuckers. There have to be 90,000 different ways to eat these fuckers. In a salad, on some ice cream, out of the box. Your host is going to love you. They are mega tits. If I had had a little more time to shop, I would have bought a smaller bag. But suppose what happens when you go up to your hostess and you say, Oh, look, I have some nuts for you. Candied nuts in a ball bag. So that's about it, Intertubers. Sweet candied nuts in a ball bag if you like. I want to thank Tiny Sponsor for helping to make this video possible. You know, if you're a creator and you have not thought about Tiny Sponsor, you should. And if you'd like to sponsor something I'm going to do, well, there's a link. You know where, down below. I want to say a special thanks to all my people on Patreon. It's been a wonderful couple of months and I hope you continue to stay with me. And if you haven't checked out my Patreon, well, you need to do that. And for sure, for sure, for sure, follow on the Facebook and subscribe on the YouTube and send me some love. I love your comments. And one of these days, I just may pick a random winner. You just never know, but you have to watch to the end to find out. You know the deal. Granny loves you.